to represent one of my favorite Texas wineries at the Toast of Texas. Y'all know that uh, Salt and Pepper Wine has been, you know, promoting Berkeley Hill Wines for about a year now, and they have done such amazing things, and they have been uh, recognized by Texas Monthly is one of the top wines in Texas. Now, y'all know I don't play when it comes to my Texas wine. I only talk about the serious stuff. I only rep the serious wine. Um, the whole thing in salt and pepper wine is to bring awareness to how good Texas wine in, is. And then the fact that a winery that took a chance on us a year ago to let them rep them, um, showed themselves to be one of the best Texas wines says a big deal about who they are, what kind of wine they offer, and of course, our taste in Texas wine. Um, there are, I'm not sure how many other wineries here, but I'll walk you around and let you see who else is here. Carlson Wines. Our dear friends, Berkeley Hill. Pop. Oh, look at that. Lewis. Lewis, kitchen. Right past, the, right past the barbecue gentleman. Okay. Yeah. There's a door. There's a reason. Of course, we've got Lano. Of course. Lasso. Right up the street there in Dallas Fort Worth. McPherson. Of course, we had McPherson. Rancho Lama. I've not been able to visit them yet, but I hear they have. I will. You will. Stonehouse. We've shown you guys them before. Of course, Cornelis. I am. Ron Yates. I mean, you guys, this is some of the best Texas wine that there is. Good, good Texas wine, y'all. Would be very nice. Lost from the fall Oh, let's not forget. Oh, goodness. Five wines, yes. Let's go. Of course, we have William Chris. Ha, ha, ha. 